Okay, today I've got a little project where I'm going to take off a clock mechanism on this kind of a cool retro-looking clock thing. The I bought it at a thrift store, and the the only thing that was still on there was the hour hand, so the second hand and the minute hand had broken off, and the hour hand was partially broken off as well. So I bought this little kit, and I thought that might be good to try to just replace it. It comes with a different two different types of hands and stuff, so we'll see how this works. But these are kind of fun little projects, and you can even make them yourself. One thing is, uh, this one's a little different. It's got a different, there we go. But you can buy these little kits, the replacement kits. So the first thing we're going to do is take off the old mechanism. And this just has an unusual, we'll do that. Let's screw it from the back. Okay. So I should show you the back. So it's got this type of mechanism in the back, which I'm sure most people are familiar with. Okay. All right. So I'm guessing the battery's not any good. Oh, 2028. Well, we'll check it later, see if it's any good. Okay. And the new mechanism. I think the hard part here is going to be to decide, well, one, if the hole's a little bit too big, we'll have to do something about that. Okay, it does have, I don't need this. Okay, so you can, building clocks is kind of fun with these little kits. I mean, you can just take a piece of wood, cut a hole in it, you know, stick this, put some numbers on a piece of wood with a hole, and just, you know, make some really funky little clocks without a lot of work. So this, we're going to take off the hanging tab that comes with it. Just put that on there. Okay, so. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but that's a pretty tight. I got the shortest stem I could find, and I think that's going to be about as short as anybody would want to go on that. Okay, so let's get out our pieces here. Carefully. Okay. And you can get these kits off Amazon, obviously, but also from like the uh, Rockway Woodworking has a good selection. There's a couple of these woodworking shops that have a good selection of these kits and it might be available in town. I want to go with the black, I'm thinking, but we'll see what we what we have here. All right, so I'm going to suggest we look at the directions. So it's got, I guess this little black thing is used just to help help it from sliding around once you get on the clock. I'm a little concerned, though, that oops, we're not going to have enough stem sticking up. So this thing, oh, that's perfect. So this will be going out in the, to the garage. So I'm not too concerned about aesthetics on it, but I would like it to be as nice as I can make it, no matter what. All right, so <laughs> with that rubber gasket, it's not quite long enough. So that might be a watch out when you're ordering these. They come in different shaft lengths. Uh, so definitely get the one that's going to work for you. I'm going to go ahead and just tighten it down with that on there. So this is 7 16 inch, but whatever your kit is, that's going to be the size wrench you're going to use on it. So that's pretty tight. That's not going anywhere. Actually, um, I'm going to say that's like the perfect height for that because I don't have extra stuff sticking out. All right, let's look at my hands here. So I want the hour hand first. That's going to go on the shaft first. Yeah. I thought these things were scratched a little bit, but it's actually got a protective plastic over it. Okay. Oh, it looks wonderful. Good. Okay. It's still a little wiggly. I want to make sure that gets on there nice and tight. Okay. So it's just a friction fit that fits on that. There's three things that move on here, obviously, hours, minutes, and seconds. And we want to just make sure this 
these things around there tight enough that they don't go flying. Okay, so I guess this is the protective tapes on this as well. Okay, that's so One of these has a, yeah, so this one has the little nut that goes on it. So it says just line them up. I can do that. Okay, that's pretty good. And looking at directions, looks like then we want to put a little nut on here. Okay. And you definitely want it snug, but remember you're dealing with a clock here, so you don't want to manhandle it too much. And then whatever arm we want to use, what if we want to use a different color? Oh, I see. I can use a brass or a black. Um, oh, here was the other set, I guess. Hmm. What if I'd want to go back to the... I kind of like having the longer arms on it, so I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to say let's go with brass. And that just sticks in the middle. Okay. There we go. Now, key here. Whoop, I got my hands are touching here, so that's what usually kills these clocks. You just got to make sure these hands don't touch. Okay. Okay. So that's like the only delicate piece is making sure your hands are that the hands are eh, get down there. <laughs> hands aren't touching. There we go. Let's see how this is working. Whoop. There you go. Looks like we got a clock. Awesome. So you can see that minute hand. You can see the second hand moving, but you can see that minute hand moving as well. I think you can. Okay, so now I got myself a clock. Now I'll go into the garage. So this should be pretty visible from across the garage and even outside in the driveway. So that's kind of what I was looking for. And I guess I should figure out what time it is. I've got 4.32. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to leave it down here in the shop for maybe a day or so just to make sure it's doing what I think it's supposed to be doing. 4.32. 32, what did I say? 32. Okay. All right. Very good. Ta-da. We have ourselves a clock. So these are fun little projects. So you can do it on anything you want. And it's just fun to have a make clocks like this every now and then if you're looking for something to do. Let's see. The clock itself cost me about $10, the clock mechanism. And they don't go up beyond really $15 to $20. You can get them with pendulums and stuff as well. And I haven't had too much luck with the ones with pendulums. I did a project where I had those, and they seemed to, uh, the pendulum mechanism went out, but the clock kept working. So I know that that part, the clock part lasts pretty good, but sometimes other parts do not. So, all right. Well, anyway, so thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions or anything, please uh, let me know down in the comments section. Uh, I really appreciate you watching this. So if you really enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. And I want to thank you very much for watching.